All right, how you doing? This is BK Black Krishna from ManforWars.com here on a beautiful Thursday, July 18th, 2019 in downtown Toronto, Canada. It's currently 12.18 p.m. And I'm just a, a little bit uh, southeast of York and Adelaide. We look at northwest at the corner of York and Adelaide in the downtown Toronto, Canada financial district. And I was just chilling for the last 45 minutes or so, uh, listening to a podcast, enjoying it, reading some stuff to my phone. Kind of looking like this. And um, I was showing basically how the smartest people in Canada here in the downtown Toronto Bay Street area as well as many many others but Bay Street is like Wall Street uh, in America it's Canada's main financial sector uh, the smartest uh, people or some of the smartest and most successful people in Canada uh, like many 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 others in Toronto and other parts of Canada and around the world are being turned into zombies who want brains and they attack anybody acting like a human Anybody who's nice or smart or happy or busy, they get worked up like a pretend ugly old lady or wife or girlfriend and force you to put up with them. Don't respect each other. You sort of have to do it back. And then you become a zombie and then you wander around looking for nice, smart, happy, busy people to attack and turn into zombies who bother people until that's all you can do. Right? And, uh, and so it's class like classic movies, class TV shows, zombies want brains, zombies make another zombie. They're wandering around for fun at lunch um, here on Thursday, July 18th, 2019, looking for any nice, smart, happy, busy people to attack, get worked up, force you to put up with them, or force you to see them look ugly, and then they don't respect you, you're impotent, there's nothing you can say or do, you're not supposed to say anything, so all you can do is do it back, and then you become a zombie as you do it more and more, and then you do it with people you know, and you have trouble respecting each other and communicating well, and then you wander around by yourself or as a pack of zombies uh, looking to attack nice, happy, smart, busy people, humans, zombies want brains, zombies attack anybody with brains to be nice, smart, happy, busy, and try and turn them into zombies. All right, so for the last 45 minutes, I was just chilling, listening to a podcast, looking at some stuff on my phone, um, and you could see <clears throat> waves of zombie attacks from formerly nice, polite Canadian ladies and gentlemen, most people straight, great at it, LGBTQ, whatever. Eh, if you can be a polite Canadian, whatever. Don't recommend it. Certainly not for everybody. You look into it first. Young adult, adult. But you can do it. Okay, fine. You're cool. You're nice. Who cares, right? And then most people straight, you know, great at it. Then you get the odd whack job worked up bothering strangers who can't explain why. Gets embarrassed and argues and lies, right? Not just mentally ill or something or other, right? Um, but you see that like once a year in Toronto. Now you can see it like once a second if there's enough people around, right? And so, um, basically, um, I'm going to show you uh, how beyond he and she equals zombie. Beyond he and she equals zombie. Doesn't mean that most people are like, whatever, some people just do whatever they do. Who cares? So it's whatever. It's not that. It's not that some people, LGBTQ, B, whatever, uh, it's not like they're like, yes, we're all happy now. Yes, we're all happy. We're nice people with a bunch of other nice people. It's like, no, you turn into zombies, right? And um, broadly speaking, um, you know, uh, about 10 years ago, I'd say, 2011, when I first noticed it really physically being becoming an epidemic, the summer of 2011, um, some guys very small percentage of the time, but they kept beating each other up and, uh, and and other guys and girls and kids, and that's how we all get to zombies. But some guys brainwashed, trapped in girl world, right? Some guys brainwashed, trapped in girl world. And what that means is when girls are quietly nice, age three to 103, in some appropriate way for their age, their looks, their relationships, the situation, you're not supposed to talk about the specifics, right? They're quietly nice, just nice to each other, quietly not nice, 
you know, don't do anything or don't do much with them, barely do anything. Don't lose your self-respect, take anybody else's. They'd rather be ignored than be bitchy with a wimp. And if they can ju verify that you're a man, then if they want, they can bring up some nice stuff and they can say, oh, you know what, I was just being stupid, oh, I should be a nice girl. And uh, and, and if they, otherwise they just like being ignored. Acting stupid, didn't bother you, you didn't bother them, whatever. Better than being bitchy with a wimp or whatever, right? So that's girl world. And if you're age three, you can be cute. If you're age 13, you can be pretty. If you're age 23, you can be sexy. 53, classy, 93, sweet old lady, whatever. But there's something appropriate, right? For, because you have some sort of self-evaluation as a girl, right? When most people are acting normal, not zombies. There's a proper evaluation and you get that validation. Other men treat you better when you act better, right? When you're nice and you share something appropriate, you relax, they relax more. You've got the masculine strength meeting and confirming the same, giving a safe space for feminine vulnerability, right? Um, and then, you know, so you, you, you can reinforce positive validation, right, as a girl. If you're a three-year-old girl, you know, you do cute little things, you do something stupid, no good validation, whatever, and it goes on up the chain with other normal guys around and girls and kids, right? Um, and if you're gay or trans, you take it seriously, again, don't recommend it, uh, definitely look into it first, um, you know, um, uh, you know, but some can and nothing for kids, you know, and there's no reason for a friend them to be, you know, confused and, and made to feel bad or made to be given attention for doing something that's a fad and then feel bad later or whatever. Um, but that being said, some gay guys and trans guys can be good at being guy guys, right? Uh, straight up gay guy. That's it. Bear of men. Or twinky gay guys. I'm thin, skinny. I have a little eyeshadow on. Hope you treat me well, Mr. Nice Man. I've got confident feminine vulnerability. You have confident masculine strength. Will you be nice to me? It's like, sure. Right? Nice to each other, not bother each other, fine. Right? So some gay, some trans can. Don't recommend it, for sure. Lots of complications. But some cases, if you look into it, still want to do it, go for it. Uh, if you can't, then you're too weak to make that kind of crazy decision with your life. Get stronger, and then think about doing something. Um, and nothing for kids. But the point is that with real girls, not guys trapped in girl world, normal guys, straight guys trapped in girl world, with real girls, there's something appropriate. And with other guys acting normal and girls and kids acting normal, you can get that positive validation. And you can say, oh, this is what I'm supposed to be doing as a five-year-old, 10-year-old, 25-year-old, 55-year-old, right? Um, and there's something to share that's appropriate because you actually look like a girl or if you're gay or trans, taking it seriously, you're doing something feminine, right? So, here's what happened. Small percentage, like 5 10% of guys, got trapped in girl world in 2011-ish, right? And uh, they started acting like pretend ugly girlfriends uh, who get worked up and forced to put up with them, lying, bitchy, sketchy girlfriends. And they started sexually harassing other guys, but they don't want to look at each other. Even if they're doing it, they don't really want to look at other guys doing it. To this day, they still don't want to look at each other. It's been 10 years. The guys still don't want to look at each other, right? Um, you have to get worked up and force people to look at you, put up with you, whatever, right? Um, so just normal, normal guys trapped in girl world, right? Wanting to get looked at like girls, but not having the physical tools necessary, nor putting any time or effort into it to actually get any positive validation or to do it well at all, right? That's guys trapped in girl world. So, normal straight guys, a small percentage, you know, anything but guy washed, girl washed, gay washed, trans washed, anything but guy washed, small percentage. They started sexually harassing each other, and when they wouldn't look at each other, they started jealously harassing girls. If a girl got attention, they'd freak out, try and steal it, or they'd follow girls around, try to trick other idiot guys into looking at them. And I, I know I stopped it before, and I used to make a stink about it, and I used to walk around and be like, hey, you, you, you're following that girl, trying to get that guy to look at you. You'll find that girl and get that guy to look at you. Now you want to look at each other. This is stupid. Right? But that's the guys brainwashed and trapped in the girl world. And as they disrespect each other by sexually harassing each other, and as they disrespect the girls and the kids by uh, jealously harassing them, and anybody that can act like a human, they make everyone put up with an act like the same rude ugly girl zombie, or pretend ugly girlfriend zombie. Doesn't care what you're doing. Worked up, forced you to put up with them. You're impotent, nothing you can say or do to 
say what's wrong, make it stop, it's not even yours, right? And then, once it makes you put up with an act like it, and it makes you into a zombie, it's hard to look at, talk to each other. So you run around attacking strangers, trying to make more zombies, and zombies want brains, look for nice, smart, happy, busy people, zombies attack to make another zombie, and that's what many zombies are doing for fun at lunch. Right? And this is here at York and Adelaide, downtown Toronto, Canada. Thursday, July 18th, 2019. At 12.28 p.m. BK Black Krishna from ManforWars.com. Feel free to comment, subscribe, like, share, get in touch with questions or answers or to work together or to financially support the Man for Wars efforts as you'd like. Once this goes mainstream, it's over. We can tell the truth about this. We can tell the truth about all the rest of them and we can be happy. We can't tell the truth about this. You can't tell the truth about any of them. You can't be happy. So, that's what normal guys are doing to everybody else. And everyone has to put up with an act like them because in girl world, normal guys, straight guys, not girls, not gay, trans, even trying, not doing anything. Not doing anything to be girly. There's nothing to look at. There's nothing like an old, old lady with a, what's old lady got? She's got a nice smile, twinkle in her eye, like she put a little gold star on your lapel. That's her girl stuff at the age of 93. It's pretty good. You know, I have my grandmas like that. Hang out with them, you just feel like, ah, oh, radiating warmth and peace with the world and sweet old lady and everyone's happy to see you and, you know. If you're, you know, we're not supposed to talk about it, right? If we're a three-year-old, cute, not supposed to talk about it. Or a, a 23, 33-year-old bartender. She leans forward, squeezes her boobs together. Hey, you gentlemen, what are you guys having? You guys will say, hey, did you just squish your boobs together so you could be, you know, cute and, and, and nice and get a good tip from us and we come back to you? How dare you say that? I didn't do anything of the sort. I dressed for me. You pervert. Throw them out. It's like, what? It's like, obviously, even if you read magazines, practice in the mirror, even if you dress for it, still, not supposed to talk about girl world. And when they're nice, you don't. You're nice to each other. When they're not nice... You know, if it's yours, bark, yank, spank, or time out. If it's not yours, barely do anything or do nothing with it. And let it enjoy being ignored or come back with better stuff. Right? I've been dating like this, and, and you know, especially in this culture, right? Relatively recently. And uh, sitting down for a glass of wine at the kitchen table with my the girl I'm dating. A real cutie, nice, lovely girl, but this garbage goes around, so sometimes they just get... Like, I don't mind, like, if somebody's got a problem. But if they're just a problem, they're making you a problem because you can't do anything else with that problem, and you turn to a zombie who wanders around attacking anybody else who's not a zombie, it's a problem bothering people, trying to make more people who bother people, right? You know, then that's that's a, that's an issue, right? Oh, let's respect each other, talk about it, fix whatever. Who cares? Nothing. Just Canada, world famous, nice, polite Canadians. Who cares? Or anywhere in the world where this sort of thing's going on. So my point is, I'm I'm hanging with this girl I'm dating. We're drinking some wine at the kitchen table. And she's got like a bitchy sort of self while she's looking at her phone for a sec. I look at her, I'm like, this is insane. I'm not impotent while my girl's a bitch. Something's wrong. Or pretend one, pretend ugly girlfriend. You know, guys, girls, kids, strange people doing it to each other. You're either gonna tell me what's wrong, or you're not gonna put out bad vibes, you're just gonna act like something's bothering you and I'll smile, that'll fix half of it. And we'll get to the other half later, if, if you like me because I did that or something. Whatever. This is like a, yuck. Gross. Why the hell am I, I didn't do anything wrong. This is stupid. Right? So, I said to her, I'm going to go check email. And she said, what? I thought we were going to, you know, have you know, relax, have a good time. I said, no, we're not. She said, yes, we are. I said, no, we're not. <laughs> I just left. I was like, screw this. I'm going to go check email. Right? Then I came back. Ten minutes later. Sat down. And then, she wasn't emanating bad vibes, put up with me, miserable bitch. She was just a little salty, because she's got her pride, right? But not, you know, making me just put up with her being awful, worked up, bother me, or put up bad vibes, forced me to see her look ugly, nothing I can say or do, nothing like that. She was just a little bit salty, because I left, and she was caught, or whatever. And so I just smiled and smirked and went, meh. And then she switched over to sweet. She's like, all right, asshole. I'm the most fun you'll have all day. Don't fuck around. And I was like, all right, cool, honey. Whatever. Right? I didn't come back from work, and work's all right. And she was the most fun I'd have all day, and she's right. Right? But here's the problem. With normal guys trapped in girl world, 
there's nothing appropriate for their age, their looks, their relationships, their situations. There's nothing appropriate, right? Like, you could do with confident masculine strength, meaning and confirming the same, and confident feminine vulnerability, being nice and you relax and you, you know, uh, allow her to share something, some feminine grace, vulnerability, attractive look, appropriate for age, looks, relationship, situation, right? Sometimes if they're a little too cute or whatever, they'll embarrass themselves and, 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 and get quiet and manageable, right? And that's good. Is man, you want that, right? And they want that. I mean, they don't want to be manageable. You say they're manageable, they, they might throw a hissy fit. But you say they're unmanageable, it's an even bigger hissy fit. So you can't, you can't really, it's somewhere in that neighborhood, right? And then the girls can do what their job is, which is to put us both in a good mood and make babies. We just have to make sure of that. That's the main job of girls. Put us both in a good mood and make babies. That's it. Right? That's the core functions. Now, everything else, they can do whatever they want. I'm not against anything like that. But everything else is a bonus or a pain in the ass. That's all. Right? Oh, you're smart. Oh, you're funny. Oh, you make a lot of money. Oh, oh you're a heart surgeon. Oh, you're an astronaut. Ooh. Oh, you're a wrestler or whatever. But it's a good mood. Make babies. I don't care. It's fine. It's all a bonus. Right? Or... We watch Amy Schumer, or I want to do some really boring shopping, or, or it's a, ah, it's a pain in the ass. But generally, good mood, make babies, whatever. I can handle a YouTube clip or some shopping somewhere or whatever. You know, if I'm cool, and she's putting us in a good mood, making babies, then I'll just be, you know, entertaining at that. You know, excuse me, miss, does this thing have more frou-frou or less frou-frou? I'm looking for maximum frou-frou, and I'm not a frou-frou expert. So when people come over to our house and they see our living room, they're like, wow, that is some quality frou-frou. Like, you just, you, you live with it, you know? But in the zombie environment, nobody can do that. Because if anybody tries to act like a human, zombies attack and try and turn you into a zombie. Right? Beyond he or she equals zombie. Even among the smartest people in Canada who uh, like do it for fun at lunch. At lunch, they walk around looking for humans. Zombies want brains. Worked up, rude, sketchy zombie wants brains. Look for nice, smart, happy, busy people. Ah, look at them, get them. Ah, right? And you can see this, they'll talk all sorts of people. I just put up a video recently of um, Rebel Media uh, uh, owner and Rebel Commander Ezra Levent being attacked in England, where he was there covering uh, Tommy Robinson trial. And uh, he was there on the streets. It's, oh, we're here outside the Old Bailey Courthouse. And you had, oh, no, there's a serious man. Serious man saying serious things. Pretend ugly, sketchy, bitchy, girlfriend, zombie, work up bother you. Ah, they just worked up, they run near him. They, oh, excuse me, run away, right? Not just run. One guy, pretend bitchy, sketchy, ugly, girlfriend, zombie. Then a girl. Pretend bitchy, sketchy, ugly girlfriend zombie. Then another guy, pretend bitchy, sketchy, ugly girlfriend zombie. Anti-free speech zombies, right? They make sure no one can talk. Right, that's their goal. To make sure there's no nice, smart, happy, busy people left. Everyone is a zombie, right? So if you're not attack people like a zombie, they'll attack you, try and turn you into one. Like for fun at lunch, right? Or a lion, bitches begging to be broken, get off on being ignored acting stupid want to stop I've got tons of manforwars.com 100% HD video proof of that over two years over a couple million people right and it's pretty obvious at this point right and so a lot of people don't know that right and that's also why at manforwars.com I've got a different video featuring uh, a legendary uh, lesbian uh, activist who's interested in all sorts of gender bending but also is very interested in most people straight being great at it and kids not being brainwashed and others being allowed to do what they want. So that's Camille Paglia, right? She says, no way, we need, lot, we need men to build stuff. If it was women running everything, we'd be living in grass huts and we'd be sitting around talking about our feelings. We wouldn't have girls going up on 100-story skyscrapers. Like, well, once I finish this sandwich in my little lunchbox, I'm gonna walk out there a few thousand feet above the ground 
and finish hammering this nail into that until 5 p.m., right? It, 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 that, that's true, right? Now, she says that if there are no women around, then men would just be just complete ugly savages, right? And, and that's also true, right? And then kids wouldn't be able to be raised by anybody, right? And that's what's happening is people are being turned into zombies, right? Zombies want brains, zombie attack, make another zombie. You have to zombie back, otherwise zombie won't do anything with you or it'll just look for someone else to bother. And then you become a zombie and that's why you can't incrementally go along with this stuff. So back to Camille Paglia, I've got this video with Camille Paglia. She talked about in that video how other civilizations have collapsed and one of the keys to that was attacks on gender, right? She said the attacks on gender making sure people can act nice enough to respect each other and look at or talk to each other comfortably and become easier to control but ultimately less happy and productive destroys cultures right she's talked about how you could see in ancient kind of roman empires and other empires greek or whatever you had these robust masculine statues these guys brah, yoked diesel i'm an ancient greek guy i'm naked and you love it brah, right and then you had the, the, the women, robust, feminine, oh, look at me. Yeah, I bet your eyes are going, right? Curvy, attractive girls, right? <clears throat> then they started switching, where the guys started getting all limp-wristed and noodly. Ooh, noodly guy, look at me. Yeah, I can do this girl thing well. Well, not well, but I can do it. Put up with it. You better before she say you like it. And the girls are like, ah, geez, we're all frigid. These guys are miserable, b ugly bitches. Yeah, we're all frigid. We're not hot anymore. Uh, right? And that precedes civilizational collapse. And in that video, um, I also uh, showed, while I was sitting somewhere, politely listening to headphones, a bunch of pretend ugly, sketchy girlfriend zombies spazzing out nearby, just acting stupid, trying to bother you, spinning around in a circle, getting embarrassed, glad you didn't see him, didn't bother him, you know, don't hate each other. You know, you're not messed up. The lion bitch may be broken. Pretend ugly, sketchy, bitchy girlfriend acting stupid, right? Like they, they, they just guys, girls, kids. It's just, uh, right. And I, I titled that video, and it got a lot of play. How stubborn masculinity can help toxic femininity fix itself. How stubborn masculinity helps toxic femininity fix itself. Right. Because that's ultimately what it is. It's lying bitches begging to be broken, trying to fix themselves. Here in the downtown Toronto, Canada, Bay Street Financial District, at lunchtime on Thursday, July 18th, 2019, at 12.41 p.m. Looking northwest at the corner of York and Adelaide, BK Black Krishna for ManforWars.com. Like, share, comment, subscribe, get in touch with questions or to work together or donations as you'd like. This goes mainstream. It's over. Done. We can all relax. We can nice to people. We can talk about whatever. If not, we can't. And we'll attack anyone who can to turn them into a zombie. We attack anyone who can to we're all zombies. Right? So, um, you know, among other ideas. Right? So, this is the thing about incrementally going along with it is that if you incrementally go along with it, as many people have for years, guys sexually harass each other, I really want to look at each other, Chelsea harassing girls, does anyone just worked up before she can see him look ugly if anyone looks at anyone? Are you, look, no one wants to look at me because I get worked up and bother people for no reason. I lie and argue and get embarrassed and deny and make people, and then they hard do anything with me that I go try and do it with strangers and then until they do it because what else can you do with me? I can't be like, hey, how's it going? Pretty good, eh? Nice weather, isn't it? Sure is. Have a good one. You too. You can't, you can't say happy Canada Day. You don't mean it. You try to force them to see you look ugly or someone's doing it to you. Or you just don't bother. You just zombie near people, right? Uh, July 1st was just, three, you know, uh, 17 days ago. So so it's pretty obvious by now. And, um, and how stubborn masculinity helps toxic femininity fix itself is the story of mankind. Right? As fathers, you teach your kids, don't bitch out. Don't let your boys, girls, or kids bitch out. 
and when you're 18, here's 200 bucks and a travel bag, get out. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Well, but, but that's good enough, right? Because they'll be fine, right? If they don't bitch out, let their boys, girls, or kids bitch out, then they'll be fine, right? Because they'll be respected, they'll have self-respect, they'll move fine, they'll, whatever, right? Unless it's normal for everyone to be a pretend, lying, bitchy, sketchy, ugly girlfriend zombie attacking anybody with brains, any nice, smart, happy, busy people to turn them into zombies. And you have to incrementally go along with it all the time, right? Then that can't happen. Right, then it's not possible. Right? Because then you can't. Right? And yet at MapWars.com, I've got over two years, over two million people on video. What MapWars.com 100% HD video proof. It's safe to save polite Canadians. They want to be saved. 100% proof, rude, light being ignored, want to stop, line bitches baby broken. Instead of you not liking each other or you bothering them, getting worked up by them, forcing them to see you look ugly, they like acting stupid and being ignored. Right? Otherwise, what are they? Just bitchy with a wimp? Ugly with a wimp? Who's ugly back? Bitchy back? It's gross. And that's how people are being turned to zombies. Right? So how stubborn masculinity helps toxic femininity fix itself is this. And it's not just my opinion. I'm not just, oh, you're some weirdo, you're some incel, you're some MGTOW, you're some this, you're some... No, 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 no. I'm good at being a man. I'm not great at it, but I'm not awful at it, but I'm good at it. These days, it's hard, no one, not, no one else around is pretend ugly girlfriend zombies that want to attack anybody that acts like a man or a woman or a child or a human. Zombie want brains. You have brains to act like human. Be nice, smart, happy, mind business. It's all it cares about. Especially when it's hard to do anything else. Right? Why is zombie walking around for fun trying to make more zombies? Because it's hard to do anything else. With people, you, you don't you respect them. They don't respect you. Hard to look at, talk to each other. Right? So it becomes hard to do anything else. You can't say zombie stop. Zombie stop and do what? Zombie, go get a patio with your friends, relax. You know, drop 20, 50 bucks on lunch. And enjoy. No, zombie need make more zombie better, more zombie. Zombie need bother strange, nice, happy, busy. Look for a human. Brains need make more zombie. Why would you want all those zombies? That's okay. They're a miserable bitch. Can't talk. Won't let anyone talk. You don't want to talk to. I'm a miserable bitch. Can't talk. Won't let anyone talk. You don't really want to talk to. It's fine. You smear them. Like miserable, ugly old women. You just are miserable, you know, ugly, lost their looks, bitter. Hey, put up with me. Miserable, ugly old woman. Oh, I know that. Miserable, ugly old woman, too. So that's how people are being turned to zombies. Right? And yet, as I said, I've got manboys.com 100% proof. And it's been going on for years, and if you don't want to talk about it, because guys trapped in girl world make everyone put up with an act like a rude, ugly girl, don't say anything. So fine, everyone's a rude, ugly girl zombie, and that's fine. Right? Girl's quietly cute, not supposed to talk about it. Girl's quietly not, 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 not cute for no reason, supposed to not do much or anything. She can stop, switch to being cute, right? Or, it's not supposed to say anything, right? Unless you have to, bark, yank, spank, time out your own, or just bark and time out or whatever, someone else, right? And they can do something appropriate with guys that are cool and girls and kids, it's normal, most people straight, great at it, LGBT, whatever, fit in or F off, don't just be a mess, make it everyone put up with you, that gets old, right? They just wander around by the strangers, like mentally ill homeless people who are messing with people they know. And then you say, oh, no, what do you do? Hey, I'm Sketchy Joe. I'm bothering people. Oh, okay, uh, I got to go. Well, you know what I'm talking Sketchy Joe? Hell no. Okay, Sketchy Joe, buy someone else. Woo, woo, woo. Wires around bothering strangers. So, manboards.com, 100% HD video proof.
people want to stop, but if people want to do more about it than less, we'll do more about it than less. If people don't, then as a polite Canadian, I typically just politely ignore it, mind my business, have a little self-respect, don't lose mine, take anyone else's, don't bother anyone, don't make a scene, they can't help it, they're embarrassed, you don't want to argue with your pretend ugly girlfriend who's embarrassed and won't admit it and is going to lie, and what's the point? What's the point of subjecting others to it? Whether it's your own ugly girlfriend acting stupid in public or a pretend ugly girlfriend acting stupid in public, what is the point of getting worked up and arguing with it and making everyone uncomfortable? Right? So, how stubborn masculinity helps toxic femininity fix itself is we've got to get the guys out of girl world, regular straight guys, who are like, oh, I know you're not going to like this, you're not going to like me, put up with me. Oh, you're not going to like this, you're not going to like me, put up with me. Oh, you're not going to like this, you're not going to put up with me. I'm a zombie. I attack any nice, smart, happy, busy people. I'm looking for brains. Brains! Zombie wants brains. Whoa! He's wandering around. He's just wandering around looking for anybody. Just making make him be zombies. Right? And then girls and kids are like, well, I guess we better do what he says. Whoa, he's a big guy, he's a creepy guy. He's going to get embarrassed, argue and lie. Blah, 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 blah. That's normal guys and girl world making everyone the same pretend ugly girlfriend zombie. Because there's nothing appropriate. You know, even if you get the ugliest, you know, uh, uh, you know, old, fat, hairy, trans guy, if he takes it seriously, he's not going to get worked up and force you to look at him or put up with him or see him look ugly. He's going to be, look, I came to this trans decision rather late in life, but I've looked into it, it's something on my mind, and I just want to be a nice, feminine, vulnerable girl who doesn't bother anyone and is treated nicely, so please don't make a big thing, right? And it could still, it wouldn't be the most pleasant thing, but it wouldn't be the most unpleasant thing you force someone to put up with, right? And that's how everyone's turned into the same rude, ugly girl zombie. That's why it's all the same zombie. It's not like, oh, that guy's a young, good-looking guy. Or that guy's a fat, old guy. Or that guy's a black guy. That guy's a white guy. He's a straight guy. It's all the same zombie. And then all the girls and kids are the same zombie. Right? And I, look, I've been to Pride Braids in Toronto for years. I'm not endorsing it. I'm not saying it's good to be gay or good to be trans. There's some real complications with it. Some can do it, but there's some issues with it. You can't just be like, whatever. It's like, whatever. Hey, whatever. It'd just be a mess. You know, the gay suicide rate's higher. The trans suicide rate's... Sur survey of 17,000 by a trans group trying to help them. 40% attempted suicide rate plus a bunch of other problems. It's not because people treat them bad. Because if you're good at being a, a, a nice person, then you're not particularly treated badly. Right? You're just whatever. Right? If you're not or you're not comfortable in your own skin and nobody can be comfortable near you, then you're going to feel suicidal, right? And that's also how the zombies are committing suicide, by acting stupid and being ignored. They're suicidal, lying, bitches, begging to be broken, pretend ugly girlfriend zombies. Right? I always make people feel bad, put up with me, no one wants to look at, talk to me, it's just uncomfortable, I'm such a mess, you put up with it. Oh, great. So, I'm right, or you are too. Ah, good. All right, next one, put up with me, right? So I'm not recommending it. But that being said, I have been to, you know, years and years of Toronto Pride parades before the zombie stuff really, you know, took over. And it was most, mostly a million people there, whatever. Most people straight, great at it. Others, LGBT, whatever, also great at being polite Canadians, right? The core of our identity. Not root sketchy, pretend ugly girlfriend, zombies. So you could go to Pride, and you could be like, meh, who cares, right? These people are cool, friends cool, different people cool, met people cool, picked up girls cool, right? It's just, it's it's all, it was just people being nice to each other. If anybody was worked up and bothering people, forcing anyone to put up with them, see them look ugly, make you uncomfortable, they were shunned by other polite Canadians, right? It wasn't normal.
So, how stubborn masculinity helps toxic femininity fix itself is the story of mankind and is the story of manforwars.com. Right? Because you can't do anything else with it. It's a pretend ugly girlfriend. It'll deny. It'll get embarrassed. It'll argue. It'll lie. It just wants to bust your balls. Make you put up with it. Nothing you can say or do. You're just impotent. While it does that to you, until all you can do is do that too. Then you become a zombie. And you wander around bothering people. So if people just incrementally go along with it, as they have been for the last, you know, eight, nine years, especially the last five or so, the brainwashing accelerating, you know, faster and faster, more and more. What are people doing all the time for fun? Making zombies. Water around. Hey, zombies want brains. Nice, smart, happy, busy people. Work out for you. Put out with me. Zombie back. Zombie back. Zombie back. Or ignore me. Line bitch made it broken. We. And most people zombie back. Until they become zombies who attack people too. They go on the attack. So that's the issue. Right? It could be a little bit. You know, hey, before she play my hair, hey, yeah, yeah. before she touch my face, wipe my nose, oh, show some in my mouth. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, that's sketchy. Oh, yeah, put up with this. Oh, before she look at my body, oh, before she look at my butt. Oh, whoa, 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 what, what, what? Don't say anything. Whoa, whoa. Okay. I talked to all the same zombie. You see? And I'll say that for effect a couple of times, just to make sure it's 100% clear. Right? It's not like, what, well, everybody, you were near some homeless shelter and some mentally ill person walked by and you made fun of them. You're a jerk. It's like, no, this is the Bay Street Financial District at lunchtime, looking northwest at the corner of York and Adelaide, downtown Toronto, Canada. This is like Wall Street, New York, at 12.55 p.m., Thursday, July 18th, 2019, and I have 100,000, not just a few hundred today. But you know, I can't do anything, say anything. Because everyone's trapped in girl world. Oh, quietly rude, ugly girl, put up with me. Oh, don't say anything. Oh, I'll, I'll get embarrassed. I'll deny. I'll argue. I'll lie. Well, okay, me too. What else am I supposed to do with you? Yeah, rude, ugly girl, zombie. Is anybody not a rude, ugly girl, zombie yet? Oh, get ready. Put up with me. Put up with me. Put up with me. Put up with me. Just wandering around, attacking people, trying to make more zombies. For fun. These are the same zombies who can't get enough in the office or got too much. Right? Either you worked up for someone to put up with you until you couldn't respect each other and look at or talk to each other, or someone did that to you, or back and forth, and now you've got to run around trying to make more zombies. Right? Normally, you know, because I've been a uh, you know, white collar guy who's worked in this type of area, right? Normally, you don't see your co-workers, you know, off, uh, you know, socially as much, or you've got other friends in the area, or whatever. You wouldn't be running around attacking anybody who's nice, happy, or busy, like a zombie that wants brains, and attacks people or humans and makes them zombies. You wouldn't be doing that for fun at lunch, right? You'd be knowing there's me, buddy nearby in the area, lots of people work here, or whatever. You're like, hey, you want to meet somewhere and chill out and catch up, or whatever? It's like... Why? I'm going to be your lying, bitchy, sketchy, ugly, pretend zombie girlfriend. You're going to be my lying, bitchy, sketchy, ugly, pretend zombie girlfriend. And we're going to make each other uncomfortable. So instead, let's either work together to attack humans and turn them into zombies. Whether it's two, three, four, five, ten of us. One of us will get worked up and forced to see if it's ugly. If all ten of us attack them, one of us is going to try to turn, turn them into a zombie. One of us will get away with forcing him to see us look ugly, worked up, whatever. And that, and he'll, maybe he'll have to zombie back, or oh, zombie back. Or, and then, you know, that'll turn it, so either as a group will attack, any humans turn them into zombies, or as an individual zombie, I'll do that. Run around, whatever. Right? And likes acting stupid and being ignored. Instead of making more. So toxic masculine, or stubborn masculinity can fix toxic femininity. Right? The reason masculinity is so under attack and it's so toxic this, toxic that, is because this is what happens. Instead of men making sure, instead of you know, men making sure no one acts like a messed up girl, 
men make sure everyone acts like a messed up girl. That's toxic femininity. Right? What's toxic femininity? Right? Say you see some old couple. Right? Old couple. Right? You see a miserable, bitter, bitchy, ugly old woman. Just miserable, bitter, horrible looking. Not a sweet old lady. He's nice and interact with. It's miserable, bitchy, bitter, ugly old woman. Looks like she's sucking on a lemon. Just, right? And you see her half-dead zombie husband there. Eh? What? He doesn't have Alzheimer's. He's just trying to fake it to get out of talking. He's just like, what? But he is pretty beaten down. He's like, oh, what? Oh, what is it, dear? Yeah, miserable bitch. Oh, dear, I'm just going to go get a glass of water. Don't you leave me. Just come back. Oh, what is it, dear? Can I help you? You can't do anything. I should have married your brother. Don't say anything. Do anything. Yeah. That's toxic femininity. And everybody has it. Because while they call normal masculinity toxic, they make everyone a rude, ugly girl. Whatever. Men suck. I can do whatever I want. I'm a rude, ugly girl. I'm a guy's rude, ugly girl. I'm a girl's rude, ugly girl. I'm a kid's rude, ugly girl. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I don't care what anyone's doing. No one cares what I'm doing. It doesn't matter. What? On a beautiful summer day in downtown Toronto, Canada, you would normally expect a couple of guys to be cool. Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? Girls be cute. Hey, how you going? Kids be cute. Hey, hello, you know. But zombies want brains, and they attack anyone who's got the brains to be a nice, smart, happy, busy person. They try and make them zombies until everyone's a zombie. That's all they care about. Why well, it's hard to do anything else. See? I say that knowing that people want to stop, right? So stubborn masculinity can help toxic femininity fix itself, right? Got to get the guys out of girl world, shove the girls back in. The guy's big secret right now is acting like rude, ugly girls. That's it. <clears throat> That's all they care about. That's their big thing. They can't hardly do anything else, just a rude, ugly girl, right? Not really capable of doing much. No, no one's... Not much is expected of you. You're just a miserable, rude, ugly girl. And you, you know, so, so yeah, whatever. You know, hey, can you open this jar of pickles? Ah, you're probably going to cry. Forget it, rude, ugly girl guy. Right? So, you know, they want to look at, talk to, listen to them. Not respected at all. Right? Can't even get being a less attractive girl right. Or a gay or trans right. Just a horrible, rude, ugly girl. Right? So, not respected. Not much expected from them. Not, not really want to ask them, you know, questions. My girls will do with you sometimes. Like, ooh, my big, strong, smart man, work with me. You know, if you get halfway there, I'll, I'll fake the other half. Come on, man. <laughs> okay, sweetie, I'll work with you, you know. And, <laughs> you know, not that. It's a rude, ugly girl. Right? Make it everyone else put up with an act like That's the guy's big secret. Hey, I get away with buying people. Oh, don't say anything. Oh, they put up with me. Oh, no. no I'm quiet, embarrassed. Oh, they can't ever get any better at it. They can only make everyone a rude, ugly girl. That's all they can do. If they make everyone a rude, ugly girl, there's no safe place for men to be good at being men because they'll be attacked by zombies. Pretend ugly girlfriend zombies. Women to be women because they'll be attacked by jealous pretend ugly girlfriend zombies. Or kids to be kids because they'll be raised by pretend ugly girlfriend zombies or they'll have to interact and be attacked and attack. Right? And sometimes you have to zombie because otherwise you'll be attacked by zombies. People just constantly wander around zombie. You know, a bit of the mall, eat center, whatever. It's little kids. It's why ah, why are I buying people all the time? Why? If I don't, someone's gonna buy me. We. It's just constant zombie, right? But as I said, <clears throat> beyond he and she equals zombie, and how stubborn masculinity helps toxic femininity fix itself, right? Because beyond he or she equals zombie. It doesn't mean that, oh, most people straight are great at it. They respect each other. They communicate well. Teach kids to. And then this person's gay or trans, and they can be fit in with nice, happy people. No, 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 no. Zombie. <laughs> Everyone's zombie. If you switch, what are you switching to? Zombie? You're a guy. You're acting like a rude, ugly girl. Guy, change your gender. You'll be a dressed little girl, acting like a rude, ugly girl. What's the difference? 
You're a girl acting like Rudolph the Gear. They turned you a guy acting like Rudolph. What's the difference? It's all the same zombie. It has to force people to put up with it. Right? So, we need to get the guys out of girl world and shove the girls back in. Like the guys, their big secret, like it's always been, saving the world. And shove the girls back in so their big secret could be being a girl. And, 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 and they get more credit for being, girls do. Guys get more credit for saying or doing, right? You know, look at Instagram, whatever. I have 12 million followers. Why? I'm cute. Guys, just go, yeah. I like that, right? Meanwhile, guys got to be like dude perfect, the trick shot artists who, you know, throw footballs and baseballs and basketballs into hoops from hundreds of yards away off the all the crazy trick shots. Hey, we're dude perfect. Look at the crazy shit we do. They got 12 million Instagram followers, right? I'm not saying guys can't be cool. You can't look at a guy in a magazine and say, oh, good looking dude. They say girl, be like, ah, oh, girl does this, girl, that's fine. But you can't lose what people like in the desire to make everyone zombies. That's the problem. Because zombies don't give a shit. They could like what you're saying. They could hate what you're saying. They could like you. They could hate you. They don't give a shit about anybody or what anybody's doing. Because they're not humans, they're zombies. They just want to attack anyone with brains who's minding their business or nice or smart or happy or busy, can look, talk, or feel good, and turn them into a zombie. Which is all you can do if you put up with it. Because what else can you do with it? When it doesn't respect itself, it doesn't respect you, and you can't respect it. So, stubborn masculinity can help toxic femininity fix itself if we want. If we promote it, if we make sure it's cool, men instead of agreeing to put, uh, act like and put up with messed up girls, you make sure no one does, teach boys to, right? And then, most people are normally nice, and the odd stupid thing that happens is the odd stupid thing that happens. Not most people are stupid things that happen and you can't be nice anymore because if anyone's nice you'll attack them like a pretend ugly girlfriend zombie and then there won't be any nice people anymore just zombies and this is why we've got to win the offline info war online is fine right or censored, quite often censored, or we're typing to strangers in splintered digital ghettos, right? Like, hey, YouTube, oh, YouTube censors, oh, great. Okay, bit shoot, oh, something else, okay, great. Oh, uh, Twitter, uh, Twitter sense, oh, hey, Gab, a parlor, a telegram, oh, say, great, great. Now I'm talking to, I'm typing to like-minded strangers in different parts of the world. Which can help. You can be nice to each other, you can form each other, you can respect each other, or not, you can argue. It can help. But what is happening where I live? Zombies. And online activity like social media, just snarky, bitchy, blurts in the world. Ah, so messed up about this tweet. Blah. Everybody. Blah. So messed up about this snarky, bitchy blurt. Right? That Some of that is contributing to the zombification of people. Right? And the shorter attention spans and, you know, all that sort of thing. So we've got to deal with that as well. But there's many other factors that are dealing with that, that are contributing to the zombification of people, right? But that's what happens, right? So you've got to locally win the offline information war, right? And that means, right? And you can see with the pretend ugly girlfriend zombies who like to act stupid and be ignored, how they feel about it when they can't do anything else. That's how they express themselves, right? It's like if you're, imagine a thousand years ago, okay, just to take it to an example. A thousand years ago, in a little village in India, right, could be anywhere in the world, but just to give you a place, time, place setting, there's a little village in the India, right, and over the last month or so, there's been a big Bengal tiger 
that's come to the village and has eaten a half a dozen kids, right? So this Bengal tiger is coming to the village and he's eaten a half a dozen kids. And after a month, we're like, okay, I know we have a lot of kids and life is pretty cheap at this point, but this is too much, okay? We think there's a tiger eating some kids. Some, we kind of know what he looks like, right? Now, a thousand years ago in India, imagine that was happening. And imagine if you had in this village, you had, you know, 10, 20 guys who were getting together and they were like, okay, we're going to go hunt for that tiger and kill that tiger because now that he started eating kids and he's died a few times, he's probably going to come back for more, right? So a thousand years ago in India, 10, 20 men in a village want to get together to talk about how they're going to hunt for this tiger that's been eating kids in the village, okay? 20 guys, right? Now, imagine in that same village, if there were women in that village, women and children in that same village, right? The women would be all nervous and scared for fun and optimistic, right? And if they acted stupid near those guys that were planning to kill that tiger that was eating kids in the village, then they would rather be ignored than all those guys stop what they're doing and act like them acting stupid, right? Now, if they were nice and sweet, then they would hope that they couldn't necessarily take over what the guys were doing, but they could say hello or they could ask a question or whatever, right? So, a thousand years ago in India, 20 guys together, kill tiger in the village, it's eating kids, right? You have some girls, right? You've got some rude, ugly girls there, right? It's a village of 100 people or whatever, whatever it is, right? You got some rude, ugly girls there. Well, those men think they're tough, rude, ugly girls. Oh, but think that he's killed. Why didn't you kill it earlier? Such a bitch. Blah, blah, blah. They get all worked up and bothered. And the guys are like, meh. That bitch is always on about something, right? Less better than more, you know? And they're like, oh, oh fine, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Run away. Right? That's what's happening here. Right? Whereas, if there was other girls in that village who are not rude, lying, bitchy, sketchy, ugly girls. Right? They're zombies. And they were to see those 20 guys playing to kill that tiger. And they were to be like, walking slow, looking cool, trying to feel hot. Not, what up with me, zombie? Attack anyone with brains! He's not zombie yet. Right? Not that. But, Walking slow, looking cool, trying to feel hot on a nice Indian day. Uh, 20 guys go, hey, we have to take an axe, uh, bow and arrow, who can do, holy shit, look at that. And then she's cute for a second, and you smile, and then she goes away, and you go back to being busy, happier, you're happier. That's fine, right? Or if she comes over, oh, excuse me, I heard you boys are, are, are planning on killing that tiger that is killing children in the village. Oh, yeah, please do. Uh, can we make you some sandwiches for the trip? Ah, uh, yes, honey, that'd be great. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Okay, good, good. They go. Fine, right? But if they were just acting stupid for no reason, <clears throat> they'd like to be ignored. That's what this is. <clears throat> you see? See here, BK Black Krishna from ManforWars.com at 1.12 p.m. Thursday, July 18th, 2019, looking northwest at the corner of York and Adelaide in downtown Toronto, Canada. Feel free to comment, subscribe, uh, share, get in touch with questions or to work together or to financially support the ManforWars.com efforts as you'd like. And, um, yeah. There he is. Laptop. Webcam. They don't care about anything else, so this doesn't matter. All they want to do is make zombies. This does not matter at all. Right? They just don't give a shit. Right? They just want to be everyone's pretend ugly girlfriend zombie. They don't give a shit about anything else. Or do anything else.
So, um, there we go. So that being said, <clears throat> I'm going to read to you a little bit of an article from The Federalist by uh, about a New York Rimes, uh, Times writer who says it's time to get rid of he and she. They're so limited. As opposed to, no, they allow us to be cool so we have the freedom to do whatever. And everyone wants to be good at being a he or a she, whether you're straight or LGBT, or you want to be a zombie that attacks anyone that's good at being a he or a she and turns them into a zombie. You see? So, uh, let's see here. There we go. Ah, there we go. <laughs> zombies want brains. Zombies make another zombie. Or a line, bitch, begging to be broken, gets off on acting stupid and be ignored. <clears throat> Instead of stuck bitchy with some wimp who's also bitchy. And manforwars.com, 100% HD video proof. Now, as I said, I'm going to read here at 1.15 p.m. Thursday, July 18, 2019, look at northwest corner of York and Adelaide, downtown Toronto, Canada, financial district. Like Wall Street, New York, but, uh, but this is Bay Street. I'm going to read an article from, uh, from The Federalist, which is a conservative... Um, you know, uh, long form publication, online magazine. And this is where the author goes through how they would eliminate pronouns like he or she, right? And again, beyond he or she equals zombie, how stubborn masculinity help, helps toxic femininity fix itself. That's across the board, in guys, girls, kids, anybody, right? It doesn't make a difference. And it, it helps, it fix itself, that's what it wants, look. See? So here is the Federalist.com from their culture section. It says New York Times writer says a quote just quote rational society would eliminate pronouns quote he and she. This effort to control language is a deliberate erasure of the identities of those who are happy to identify with our biological sex. And it's not good for trans people either, because you just turn into a rude, ugly girl zombie too. Right? Not like most people around are good. Hey, I can get good at this. It's like, nope, everyone put up with me, so what? I'm a mess. Ah. So there is the article. And it says here, the abolition of man and woman has gone mainstream. Writing in the New York Times, the old gray lady, the paper of record, that arbiter of left-wing respectability. By the way, if you're left-wing, look at Antifa and the other hardcore people at the front at the front of that and see what you're turning into. Antifa-style commie zombies. Can't talk to people they disagree with. Can't talk to each other. Make sure no one can talk. Attack anyone that's not a mess, thinks everything should be destroyed, replaced with communism. Everything should be equal, not equal, not equal opportunity, equal outcome. No, everyone equally miserable, messed up. Right? That, that's that's what th th those are the leaders. They're not on YouTube like, hey, this person's so smart and funny. There's like, no, commie zombie, push commie zombie ideas. Right? The people fighting them are on YouTube, going, well, here's my half an hour take on how stupid this is. Well, aren't I empowered and informed and informed and empowered? And can I help you be? Right? That's the other side of it. Right? They're sort of going along with it as, oh, whatever, zombie, zombie. Don't say anything. What if we're wrong? What if we're sensitive? What if we're uncomfortable? What if, just don't talk at all, make sure no one can. Someone might cry. Right? Zombies.
And I'm not picking on mentally ill homeless people outside of a shelter. This is the Bay Street Financial District. This is how people have fun at lunch. Right? And as I said, I have 45 minutes of me doing nothing. This is, they would do it. Ah, not a human! Zombies want brains! Just sitting there minding business. Nice, smart, happy, busy person. Zombie want brains! Make zombie! Right? Ah, doing nothing. Right? So they're just not, they're just doing that for physical attacking, for fun. Looking for anybody, any humans that have brains to turn them into zombies. So, this article <clears throat> starts by Nathaniel Blake. The abolition of men and women has gone mainstream, writing in the New York Times that arbiter of left-wing respectability, Farhad Manju argues that, quote, language should not default to the gender binary. Specifically, he wants to eliminate gendered pronouns such as he and she, okay? There's huge problems with that because you can't act nice enough to talk or you can't talk nice enough to act, right? You know, I know uh, being a gender responsible man, not equal or neutral, Gender responsible. You gotta be cool, straight up, confident, masculine strength, meets confirms the same. Confident, feminine, child vulnerability. Oh, don't worry, they're a strong guy, they're not gonna bother you. It's guys not bother each other, don't scare no girls, kids, right? It's like, really? Oh, you're so nice, I'll be nice. Oh, this is a great chance, be nice. We, right? And so, um, hey, don't lose your self respect, take anyone else's, and so on, right? Gender responsible, not gender neutral, equal. Oh, I messed up, rude, ugly girl, zombie. Oh, so what? It doesn't matter. Put up with it. Don't say anything. Don't say anything at all. Not that. But as a gender responsible man, I know that I get a better response even from people being turned into zombies over the last 10 years by being cool like that. Either guys, either they were cool or they like acting stupid and being ignored like the best you can hope for your pretend lying, bitchy, sketchy, ugly girlfriend or your real one for that matter and the best they can hope for. Right? Girls, same thing. Sad, stupid, be ignored, don't want to don't cause no trouble, happy they aren't in trouble, not all messed up. Right? Kids, same thing. Right? That's the best you can hope for. Or, nice to each other, guys, cool, straight up, cool, nice. Girls, that cute, nice, good, good. Kids, all cute, nice, whatever. It's fine, it's fine. From the same people being turned to zombies. Right? This is what they do. It doesn't matter. They like you, hate you. They just want to make zombies. They don't care. Laptop, 17 inch web, laptop, webcam. They don't care about it. They say it. They don't care. All they care about is making zombies or being ignored trying. Lying bitches, baby, broken. Right? That's all they give a shit about in life. Because it's hard to do anything else. I have had to say this. I'm in line somewhere to buy something. Pretend ugly, sketchy girlfriend zombie there. Right? I hold up a newspaper. Manforce.com sign outside. I'll flip it around. Just people want to stop. Hey, you want to run up? Jump first. Me looks so ugly. You want to read this? And maybe help you out. Off you go. Inside, flip it around. Not advertising in there. Whatever. Just ignore it. Ignore it. And other people are really nice. I'm like, hey, look. I'm sorry. It's no relation. Hey, it's okay. It's just pretending. It's, like, it's okay. Some of those self-respect. It's fine. Like, I'm sorry. It's doing that in here. It's a nice place. Otherwise, but, you know, hopefully it'll stop. It just keeps going. It's how you can say no thanks. No thanks. How dare you, rude, ugly old woman, zombie? Yeah, pretend ugly old lady, wife, zombie. Pretend ugly girlfriend. It doesn't care. Right? So I'm like, I can't help it. It's, not, it's okay. Right? It'll finish. Right? And I said, if I'm inside, so I'm really sorry it's doing that in here. I'm sorry. It's not my place. Can't help it. Can't help it. It's, not, it's okay. Right? Don't argue with your real one or a pretend ugly one in public. Just acting stupid. No reason. Making everyone uncomfortable. And everyone's fine. We've been living fine for years. Like, man. You get to the cashier. Guy, girl, sometimes they're really nice, really cool. You know? Other day, girl, really cute. You know, just try to get away with it in tiny little bits. Because pretend ugly, sketchy girlfriend, jealous zombies will freak out if they think anyone's looking at anyone like a human. They'll be, ah, me, 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 me. Look at that guy, like he's cool. Me, look at that girl, zombie. Or a girl, I'm cute, I'm cute for a second. Ah, me, It'll freak out, right? But in a little increments, little tiny little kind of controlled private increments, she could be cute, a nice, cute, attractive girl with me without agitating pretend ugly girlfriend zombies too much. Right? And so she's cute, right? Or guys, sometimes they're cool, right? They know you're cool. Well, you're not not cool. <laughs> if I'm charged security here, I know you're not not cool. I do a lot of not not cool people. So I'd be not not, I'd be not cool, but you're cool. 
Yeah, it's nice. You have ID. Just go, man. It's all good. Okay. Oh, hey, cool, man. He's like, I, I just want to be cool with someone. Just cool with me. I even cost my job, but I don't give a shit. <laughs> it's, just, it's nice to actually just be cool. Not make a big thing. Just be cool. <laughs> it's good, man. It's all good. Right? You know, or friendly, or sometimes just seriously businesslike. Right? They're like, look, buddy, I work in this rude, lying, bitchy, sketchy, ugly, pretend girlfriend zombie hellhole. Right? So I just want a second to fucking man up and not deal with your smiley, happy ass or any other shit. And I just size them up because we're not worked up bothering each other, forcing anyone to see anyone look sketchy, ugly or anything. I size them up and I'm like, all right, your time, your place. Appreciate your help. Done. Just. And the guy's just like, all right, he's getting me what I need. He's this and that. He's like, wait a second. You can sense I want to be cool. I'm just, at this point, a man about my business. And I don't want any shit. I don't want you to talk about that stupid shit that person's doing. I don't want to do any talk any stupid shit with you. I don't want to be friendly. I just want to be, you're fine. You know, let's not bother each other. Fine. And I'm just, I, dude respects me. I respect, done, dead. Like he's a general and I'm a private in the military. Sir, fine. We respect each other. Who cares? Or other times friendly or Joe or track, whatever. Right? And among the same people, Right? I know that, as the article says, if you get rid of he and she and other gender-specific terms, means you can't talk ni nice enough to be nice, and then you can't act nice enough to be nice, and you make sure no one can talk with how you act because you're not acting nice enough to talk, and then it just becomes a whole mess. Right? Because you know, with people who have no self-respect, don't respect anyone, no one can respect them, they turn to zombies, they wander around attacking anyone with self-respect who's got brains to try and turn them into zombies. You know that's how you get respect, right? Gender is a key part of it. Whether you're straight or even if you switch, that's what you're fighting for, isn't it? When you destroy it all, it's not there anymore. Right? I still I'll hear podcasts, I'll hear the Low Post podcast about the NBA with... ESPN writer Zach Lowe does a good job, and um, he'll say, he'll sometimes be a little bit uh, bitchy and bitch out here and there, although he's a smart guy, good guy, and a good writer, uh, but here and there, but he'll say, you know, hey, uh, th you know, uh, appreciate your time. No, thank you, Zach. Thank you, sir. He'll say, thank you, sir. Right? He'll t that's how you, that's the cherry on top. You know, we respect each other. There's some issue, you know? Oh, you know, sorry, I took a little while. Oh, no problem at all, sir. Oh, sir, yeah, you're fine. You're not, you're not in some sort of snit about this. I was looking for a light bulb for you. I couldn't find it. Took a few minutes. Comes back. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, sir. Right? Not. Hey, sorry, dude. Hey, it's sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Right? Or ma'am or honey. Right? I go to the Starbucks. Used to be here. You know, I walk in there. Size up the girl. She's not worked up. Forced me to put up with her. I'm not worked up. I'm ignoring other people. She's like, oh, good. Give me a man. You don't do that stupid, rude, ugly girl stuff. It's somebody I can respect. Great. Fantastic. Right? So I, I approach her. I see her. And she is presenting herself as an attractive version of herself. Appropriate to her age, her looks, our relationship, the situation, other people around. It all works for her whether she's 23 or 53. So I'll say, you know, if she's being a nice, uh, friendly girl who hopes you'll be nice to her, I'll say, hey, good morning, honey. You know? And she's like, honey, that's awesome. I'm cute. And then she, she, and then you're friendlier, you're nicer, right? As opposed to, hey, guys, hey, guys, hey, guys, hey, guys, hey, guys, hey, guys, nice purse. Hey, guys, nice shoes. Hey, guys, nice ass. We're talking to chicks, right? Is it, is it, what? And again, zombies want brains, but zombies just try and make another zombie. That's the problem. And I've got over two years, over two million people, manforce.com, 100% HD video proof. It is safe to save polite Canadians. They want to be saved. How can gender-confused adults save gender-confused kids? Right? Another video I recently made, chopping together a bunch of stuff, right? And showing all the different things, right? 
is why? Do you want to grow up to be that? Why do you want to grow up to be that? He's a miserable, rude, ugly girl. Switch. Grow up to be a woman. You know, better luck. <laughs> why do you want to grow up to be your mom? She's a miserable, rude, ugly girl. Switch. You know, better luck. Man, women suck. They're always miserable, depressed, bitchy. I want to cut my tits off. Right? It's happening all the time in Toronto. Right? But how can they save gender-confused kids if, they, if they're gender-confused adults? Right? There's lots of reasons. You can be like, no, rude, ugly girlfriend, zombie. Make sure no one can talk. Don't talk. It's like, well, no, I can save kids. Doesn't matter. Nothing matters but making zombies. Or a lion bitch making a broken gets off being ignored acting stupid. Wee. See? It's Max article. 129 p.m. Thursday, July 18th, 2019. So this New York Times writer wants to eliminate gendered pronouns like he or she. And if you beyond he or she equals zombie. And how stubborn masculinity helps toxic femininity fix itself. Whether it's guys or girls or kids, it just doesn't matter. <laughs> if it's toxic femininity, miserable lying bitch, getting on your ass for no reason, busting your balls, scrambling your eggs, making you uncomfortable, you're impotent, can't do or say shit, just have to be a piece of shit back, then not get along and go attack other people like zombies, trying to make more people who bother people. See? So back to this article from Nathan Blake from The Federalist. This effort to control language is a deliberate erasure of the identities of those who have not embraced the latest trends in gender ideology and who are happy to identify with our biological sex. It is a form of cultural and ideological imperialism linked, uh, directed against us insofar as it linguistically erases our lived reality of biological sex as an essential integral part of the human experience and therefore of our identities. Right? And it's true, no little kid grows up wanting to be a pretend rude lion, bitchy, sketchy, ugly girlfriend zombie. Right? You grow up wanting to be good at being a guy. Right? You could maybe never get to Brad Pitt, Matthew McConaughey levels or whatever. But that's what you're aiming for. Right? As a girl, you could never get to you know, Audrey Hepburn or whatever levels. That's what you're aiming for. Right? This is so you can't do that, and this is a form of control. And by the way, the communists killed 100 million people this way. And in communist Canada, something similar is happening where in Alberta, they're telling the students, don't call each other boy and girl anymore. You're now all comrade. Comrade. You're all comrade in communist Canada. Right? In other parts, this sort of thing's going on. Right? Because the communists did the same thing. They was like, we are strong, proud Russian men. We are sweet, beautiful Russian women. Oh, we know how to be good being Russian men. We know how to be good being Russian women. We can make each other happy. Communists said, no, can't do that. You are all equal commie zombies. Patriarchy was repression, matriarchy is evil, this and that, it's all bad, and no men, women anymore, holding you down, it's like, no, 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 we are strong, proud Russian men, we help the women do what the women do, they're women, they can do this, they can do that, we help them with this, that, and the women are like, oh no, we are beautiful Russian women, we like our Russian men being strong, and we are beautiful, and they help us too, that's like, no, no, they're holding you down, they're holding you back, right? And the communists in Russia and China, other countries, sent armies of bitchy zombies to switch people or snitch and have them censored, arrested, or killed. Just like today. Right? That's how communists, globalists, super rich people want to run the world, you know, behind it, using the UN, other organizations, nationalists in different countries, fighting against them, protect their country, want true diversity of thought, people controlled immigration, but cool with everybody, not like we're racist, you know, but now we're like, oh, everything sucks, change everything. That's the communist stuff. And in communist Russia, in communist China, the same thing happened. Where there were armies of genderless zombies 
who attacked any nice, smart, happy, successful, busy people to try and turn them into commie zombies who thought everything sucks should be destroyed and replaced, were bit costly bitching, or censored, arrested, killed. It's the same thing. Communist Russia, Communist China, Communist Cambodia, other places. Right? This is a core plank of control because then you can't respect each other enough to look at and talk to each other about who's controlling you. Or anything else, fun or serious stuff. And, as a bitchy, rude, ugly girl zombie, you insist on everyone putting up with an acting like you. Right? Like, like if, you're, if your grandma is a miserable, selfish, bitchy, ugly old woman, and you invite her to Christmas dinner, then she might get in her feelings and just make the whole thing suck. And you really can't say anything, because she'll just suck more. Right? Now, stubborn masculinity helps toxic femininity fix itself, whether it's guys acting like miserable, rude, ugly, lying, bitchy, sketchy zombies, girls acting like rude, ugly, lying, bitchy, sketchy zombies, kids acting like rude, ugly, lying, bitchy, sketchy zombies. It doesn't make a difference. But, it is how they're controlled. Right? And it'll just keep going on and on. It won't be like some big thing. It'll just keep going. It'll just be like, whatever. Hey, put on, put on me. Now what? Nothing. Just look at your feet. Don't look at each other. We're both zombies. Are there any humans here? Okay, talk to them. Where's your problem? Now what? Ah, no, hey, guys, 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 look at your feet. Now what? Nothing. We're both zombies. We don't, we don't care what humans do. We attack them. Anyone with brains to not bother people, we attack until they're a zombie who bothers people. And they just... That's what the main priority becomes. Just making zombies. And I've repeated it a couple of times, just so you know. Right? 100% proof. Like, it's not like it's like whatever. It's the endorsement. No, you'll just go on and on until that's all you, all you want to do in life. Right? All adults want to do and all kids want to do is get worked up, force you to put up with them, or force you to see them look ugly until you do it back. And then when you're both zombies, find some other humans who attack, to attack, who aren't already doing that. Just keep going on and on and on and on. Hey, put up with me. Hey, yeah, hey, hey, hey. You're not going to like, you're not going to like me. No one does. Hey, hey, hey. hey. You can't, can't do anything else. No one likes it. No one likes me. You know, they just go zombie. Hey, yeah, yeah. It just keeps going. And likes to be ignored. Acting stupid probably wants to stop. So, <clears throat> back to this article, right? Anyway, you get the idea. So I'll put a link to this article. He goes into what Manju writes about this. Hey, just somebody bitching. Just somebody bitching at normal, happy people. That's what a lot of the media is. Professional lying bitches. Make more bitches, make more bitches, make more bitches out of people. Like, see all those nice, happy people there? Uh, I can't believe them with their picnic baskets and their flags and their balls and their kids. And they're so good looking and happy and attractive. Man, wouldn't it be great if, if we just got rid of all that? The way they could be nice to each other? Oh my gosh. Ah. It's like, what the hell? Right? That's what this shit is. So I put a link to this article below. 1.37 p.m. Thursday, July 18, 2019. Feel free to uh, comment, like, subscribe, share, get in touch with questions, or to work together or financial support as you'd like. Otherwise, BK Black Krishna for manforwars.com. Hope this helps, and I'll talk to you soon. I hope you'll talk better, too. Cheers.